Step 8. Plasmid Mini Prep During the plasmid mini prep, we are going to grow cultures of E. coli cells, lyse them, and isolate plasmid DNA. The only task for the day 2 is to start mini prep cultures. Here I prepared 3 cell culture tubes with 4 ml of liquid LB medium with ampicillin in each of them. Right now I'm going to inoculate the colonies from the plates into the tubes. I open tube 1 Pick a colony with a pipette tip And inoculate it into the tube I repeat the same procedure for the other two tubes. The culture tubes are incubated overnight in a 37 degree shaker. We are now on the day 3 of our cloning protocol. Right here on the bench I have the overnight cultures of E. coli, which I am going to use for plasmid mini prep. But first I am going to take 1 milliliter out of each of these culture tubes and save it in a separate Eppendorf tube. Later today, after I verify the clones by restriction digest, I will freeze those 1 milliliter aliquots in my frozen clone collection. Now I'm going to proceed with the plasmid mini prep kit to isolate DNA from these cultures. If you used the plasmid mini prep kits before, fast forward to the next step. First I pellet the cells by spinning the culture tubes in a centrifuge. Here I have pelleted cultures, and right now I'm going to use a standard mini prep kit, which in this case is a Bioneer kit, which consists of several buffers and columns to isolate the plasmids. I start by discarding the supernatum from each of the tubes. Then I add 250 microliters of a resuspension buffer. Then I resuspend the pelleted cells and transfer them to fresh Eppendorf tubes. Now I'm going to add 250 microliters of a lysis buffer. And mix the solution by gently flipping over the tubes. Then I add 350 microliters of neutralization buffer to each of the tubes. And again, mix the solution by gently flipping over the tubes. You can see that there is a coated cheese-like formation in the tubes which we are going to separate by spinning the tubes for 10 minutes in a microcentrifuge. Then I transfer the supernatants to spin columns. I spin for one minute in the centrifuge. Then I discard the flow through and add a wash buffer with ethanol to the columns.
Then I spin in the centrifuge again. Then I discard the ethanol. And spin one more time to get rid of the leftovers of the ethanol. Then I transfer the columns into fresh Eppendorf tubes. And elude the plasmid DNA from the columns with 100 microliters of double distilled water. Now I'm going to discard the columns and keep the tubes with the plasmid DNA that we just isolated.